Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I would like to share with you my thoughts on this filed folder. They call it the filed folder one on the website and I will link it down below. I purchased this online directly from the filed online store. It says here filed, oops, sorry. That is the name of the brand. It is called Filed, and that is their logo type. Um, this is not made of real leather. It's made of a leather-like material that is very, very soft and has a pebbled finish. But I have observed that if you put a photocopy on top of it that's face down, some of the photocopy transfers. I'm not sure if you can see that. It transfers. There. There are some transfers. I haven't tried to clean this up yet because I saw this just now and I noticed that I placed it on top of a bunch of photocopies. But it's okay. In case it doesn't come up, that's okay because this is a very light color and I'm thinking that as I use it, even if there is no photocopy transfer on the surface, it, it will tend to get a little bit dirty anyway with the use. If I put this on top of things if I keep holding it it will accumulate a certain amount of dirt and that was really one of the main considerations I thought about when I was when I was deciding on the color there is a black version of this but I didn't pick it out uh, I was thinking that black will not show up dirt but I chose this anyway because the color is it's kind of pretty so let's now move on to the features of this uh, folder now this can carry U.S. letter sized and A4 sized papers. And it comes with a strap that closes with a magnet, but it's not a very strong magnet. But it does serve the purpose of keeping the folder closed. It also has a zip around zipper that, that's in black. It zips around. Let me show you. Oops, sorry. It zips around. But it has this also anyway in case you cannot use the zipper anymore because the folder is too full. There's the magnet. And over here is a different material. This is cloth. It's different from this one, but it's a similar color. Now inside, on the left uh, panel, we have a bunch of pockets that I find very useful. Um, it has two pockets over here that closes with a Velcro. Um, my only quarrel with this is that if you place here um, something that is smaller than this, there is a danger that it can accidentally, you know, escape from the closure, although I don't know how that would happen, but there is a danger because of the space between the top of the pocket and the top of the, the, the closure. There is a danger that something could escape. Now, a, a phone can fit in here. I'm using my phone to film me, so I can't use my phone as ex an example, but um, a phone can fit in here and if you close it down, the phone cannot fall out. But if you put here something that is much smaller than a phone, maybe a flash drive that is very, very small, then it can fall out. And these two pockets are of the same dimension and have the same closure. There is this uh, keychain that has a, I mean, not a keychain, but it has a clasp. And you can put your keychain in there or a flash drive and I think it's a very very useful thing to have in a folder and over here at the bottom um, there is a removable pouch I just put my study pens in here these are color coded according to what I need them to do for me these are Lamy Safari fountain pens and one Vista, which is the same as a Safari, but only it's a demonstrator, meaning it's it has a see-through material. But these are all Lamy Safaris with different uh, colors in them. And I just put them on here because I don't use these for my planner, so they're not in my 
pencil case that is associated with my planner. And it attaches with a Velcro and you can take it out. And over here is another bigger pocket in which you can put DVDs. This is a DVD that I have to watch for work, uh, for, for school, for a final paper for school. And this can carry a lot because it has gussets. It is gusseted. So this can fit a lot, but if you put a lot of stuff in here, you might not be able to zip up the zipper around the folder. So you have to choose. You have to decide what to really put on here. The snap is not very well there but I kind of had trouble snapping that down now here are the rings uh, these rings are compatible with the holes that you can put punch with a standard three ring puncher so all of my previous notes can fit in here it's easy for me to switch notebooks switch from a main main archive to this if in case I need a chapter and then switch them out and then transfer them to the main um, binder so it's easy there's not a problem with that now here is a sample of a u.s letter paper inside it fits i haven't punched these yet and here is a sample of an a4 size and of course it fits and over here is a uh, this is a plastic envelope it's a zip Thing. It didn't come from filed. It's from Lehit Lab. I bought this from National Bookstore. It carries A4 sheets, but it still fits on on this uh, wide pocket at the back. So as you can see, this is a very capacious file folder from filed. And over here, I just put a bunch of things that I have to file anyway. And over here is a clear pocket. You can put your identification in here. And over here is a, uh, let's transfer this here. Uh, this is a, a, um, a strap that you can use if you don't want to hold the file folder by its body. What you do is you just close it, oops, close the folder and then you cannot just zip it through. You have to stop the zip right about there. Oops, sorry. You have to stop the zip right about there and then you have to zip up the other one and stop right about there and you can close it like so and then there. Your stuff is still secure inside even if you use it this way but I hardly ever use it this way because I put this inside my backpack. So let's open this up again. My only, um, I, I like this folder. It functions well for what I needed to do. My only quarrel with this is that it's not thick enough because if you put a bunch of papers in here and you have your pens here and you have stuff in here, it's not going to be easy to zip up the whole thing. And the magnet is not too strong I'm afraid to hold everything just in case you won't be able to zip up the folder so that's my only quarrel with it and of course the height of these pockets I think they should be higher although I do understand what I have to put this you know down here because if it's too high up you can't put anything in there but maybe up to here would be okay just so that things won't fall out small things i mean won't fall out but this is a very nice touch and also the pen case is a very nice touch and i could, would imagine this is some kind of a nylon material uh, this is the same lining that I see being used inside some toiletry bags. It is water resistant. So yeah, that's a plus. So all in all, I like 
this folder except for those two things it should be a little bit thicker but maybe that's just me and this one should be taller the pockets here should be taller but all in all I think this is a very very good folder and it's not very expensive it's it was on sale until the end of April which was yesterday it was on sale for about 700 something the regular price was 900 plus pesos and when it went on sale it was just 700 plus so it's not very expensive so it's very good for students and it, it performs its function well it promises to hold your files and other stuff and it does exactly that without any drama <laughs> And that's why I like it. And there you have it. That is my review of the filed folder. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.